microwave. So if anybody's microwaving their food, you, you, you have no chance of getting <laughs> enzymes. So make it your pasta storage cabinet. I don't care what you do with it. Shut that puppy down. With that said, there's still such an assault. And any kind of uh, irritation or radiation of your food destroys your enzymes. Chemicalization, uh, foods grown conventionally, the displacement. We know that things like selenium, which is not an enzyme, that's a treatment. But anyway, it gets de completely destroyed by all these conventional ways of growing. So our food chain has been severely, severely compromised. All right, well... How do we do this? How do we get our good enzymes? Sprouting. Sprouting in your own home. Find a good seed source for sprouting and eat those sprouts. They're going to be very, very rich in enzymes, and they're not going to be sitting out there in the elements in the soil uptaking these problems. That's my best advice. Right. That's a great idea. I, I did get some some relief from his herbal um, supplements. That once he figured out that I was enzyme deficient, they did um, prescribe an enzyme supplement, and it was amazing. Right. <laughs> it can the be results very very helpful. But that's now, and we don't know down the road. These guys, these varmints, <laughs> are marching toward removing even those options from us. So we have to right. learn to be. Right. Yeah, we got to get smart about doing it for ourselves and not relying on going to the local health store and finding that which is prepackaged, pre-prepared, oh, thank you very much, because that may not be there. And the way they're doing it in this country, and I heard in England they did it overnight at 2 in the morning uh, when nobody was, you know, awake. Uh, but the way they're doing it in this country is they're tacking these bills onto bills that are slated to just slide through so you go to sleep one night, you wake up the next morning, and it's law. It's just law. And they just did that with how we are allowed to grow our food in this country. And the average American has no clue that this law went through that it dictates, I think it's eight ways in which we are allowed to grow our food, none of which is organic. All of it involves either chemicals or GMOs. Now, they haven't implemented it yet, but that law stands. And if you, say, want to have an or, a nice organic garden in your backyard or a greenhouse, they, they have the law behind them to come in and tear it up and cite you and even imprison you. Most Americans, 99.9% .9 of Americans, don't even know that law is in place. So wow. we have to be, yeah, we have to be really smart about not relying on the infrastructure out there and learning how to do this within our own homes. Right. That is good advice because he had a difficult time finding those enzymes, actually, and had to order them from me and the, yep. for me. And it was through a, a Chinese um, medicine company that he was finally able to find it. But, yeah, th that's some very good advice. I didn't know the ways that you could get it from natural foods. So thank you for that. Sprouts. Wow. Sprouts. Wonderful. I'm telling you, sprouts are the answer on that one. But you have to be very careful that your source for those seeds that they haven't been irradiated, because many of them have now. Anything coming from out outside this country, uh, I notice they very carefully, <laughs> our olive oil, now they've done something very tricky here in the United States. It used to be Italian olive oil, cold press for extra virgin, blah, 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 you were okay. Well, I start to look at the label and I see that our organic spectrum olive oil, you know, in the health store comes from Italy and Argentina. Then I have a friend research that, and we find out that all of the olive oil coming from Argentina is coming in on a Monsanto boat, and it's being irritated, and they're mixing it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just how bad these guys are. They're bad. Bad to the bone. Monster. Now, Absolutely. I, pardon? They are absolute monsters indeed, Monsanto, and the big oh, conglomerate. Yeah. Well, we, we, oh, we won't even go there. They're the baddest of the bad. Uh, so now you have to find product of Italy packaged it, because now they have olive oil that says packaged in Italy, but it's not from Italy. It's from someplace else. It, it's getting harder and harder. 
in the health store the other day, I actually found garlic from China. I'm like, okay, like we don't grow it. Um, so we have to be very, very vigilant about the source. And there's some very good, um, if you, uh, there's a woman in this country called Joyce Riley. She has a program called the Power Hour, but she's got something called the Power Hour Mall. And under her umbrella, that woman is amazing. She has gathered some of the most important, pure, good medicine, natural medicines anywhere in the United States. So that's something people can search, uh, the Could Power Hour that? Mall. Could and they have that sprouts that, that aren't irritated and that are, they have a source. What so that's name? who... That, I'm sorry? What was, her, what was her name, Dr. Glenn? Joyce, Joyce Riley. Joyce Thank Riley, you. and it's called okay. the Power Hour Mall. And see, this is a woman who has... Um, she was a whistleblower. She was a Navy cardiovascular nurse, Gulf War, whistleblowed, became very famous in this country, and now she has a radio show, but accepts no corporate dollars. So the way in which she stays on the air and pays for her time is through this mall where she sells over the Internet all these good natural medicines. But she's, she's really accumulated some of the best. Um, that Himalayan pink salt inhaler that I was ta- talking about earlier for lung health, uh, she's got the right one. She's got the good one with the ceramic and whatever. So... That's a place where I know that they have these sprouts that are, or these seeds rather for sprouting that aren't um, irritated or, you know, another way, uh, uh, some other way molested. Yeah. Um, one, one of the problems I've had going down this path is you run into so much anger and outrage and then fear. Yeah. And you begin to tie all these points together and... I have I've heard you speak before about that why it's so important not to go there and how not to go there. And it's well, a, it's a frequency, it's an energy, and well, those with ears to hear, you know, hear me, um, or hear us. Better yet, it is a frequency, and your frequency yes, it is. changes. So if you can short circuit these thought patterns in yourself, these angry and hateful or fearful thought patterns and take yourself to a position of prayer or meditation, it it actually changes the level at which you vibrate and is Absolutely. very good for your body and will not be and, feeding. And we're not feeding. And there. many, many believe that, you know, if you're vibrating at that level, it's going to help you uh, avoid taking on these substances anyway. What's your opinion of that? Oh, I absolutely believe that. Um not so much taking them on, but how you manage it. Um, you know, we have so many levels of consciousness here, you know, that, that, that we're working with simultaneously. We have the guy um, that's just waking up to that margarine might not be the best thing for him. <laughs> you know? And that's yeah. good. And whenever yeah. anybody comes to an awakening, that's a good thing. And then we have people who are waking up to maybe organics would be better than, you know, and then we have people waking up to the, the, the larger scenario that this is, in fact, um, a spiritual issue that we're dealing with. We're dealing with the physical, that's for sure. And we're dealing with the mind, mind, body, spirit, that's for sure. But even higher than that, or I don't know if higher is a, a fair term, but, but beyond that or next to that is we're dealing with spirit. And if we can look at our teachers throughout time, they have been telling us that if our spirits are aligned with the assurity uh, that the light and love and compassion and kindness are far stronger than any of this other very destructive stuff, then if we align with that, we know um, in the end it's all okay. But in the short run, you have to go back to if good men do nothing, then evil triumphs. So you've got those two things going on, um, that we are in sort of a, a tussle, for sure, 
uh, with some very dark stuff. But on the other hand, we have to be assured that it's not nearly as strong and it never sustains. So no fear. No fear. You know. Yes, thank you so much. The law of impermanence is, is on our side. I found that if I <coughs> were to a spiritual program, and it doesn't seem to matter what it is, as long as I work it, then I, it helps me to walk through this microwaved world and not fall prey to the fear and the anger, which is so easy to fall into when you see the laws they're passing and the, and the actual things that people are doing. Even people and that, Yeah, and, I mean, I, I had a little beautiful squirrel coming to my feeder every day who I greatly loved. You know, a lot of people don't like their squirrels in their bird feeder, but I love this little guy. And all of a sudden, I looked out one day and it didn't look right, and... You know, I looked again, and, and there was a, like a lump growing on his head, and then I looked again the next day, and it's bigger. And I finally lost him um, to that, and there was such an anger in me that this beautiful, sweet, little, innocent guy, you know, just trying to, you know, motor around and get some seeds, was, was victim to what I am assured is what, what, what was given to him. And that's where I can get into, you know, that... <laughs> fist in the air kind of yeah. angry um, so I have my moments but I also know that um, in the end it, it, we have to stay strong and centered and not in fear and know uh, again hearkening back to earlier conversation that there is miracles at work here or call it what you will divine intervention, I don't, you know, you can put whatever name you want on it, but most of us, given the insult, <laughs> we shouldn't be here, but we are. Um, so. Exactly, you and your comment, your comment um, <clears throat> earlier about, you know, putting people to sleep with 20% oxygen uh, and I believe carbon monoxide, dioxide. So what do you think, I, I have read various things, but what, so our level of oxygen is less than 20% now? I heard part of that, Rose. I'm sorry. It kind of broke up on me. Um, I heard 20% oxygen. I I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear the whole... I I'm sorry, Dr. Scott. Um, we, we, earlier you, you were saying that, you know, it, it's 20% oxygen you take 20% down to 20% oxygen to put someone to sleep and it's it's a miracle that we're that we're all uh, up and breathing at this point because of the levels of oxygen now on our planet never right. mind everything